my throne wish list. Thank you so much and big, big shout out to Rochelle for this game. I've wanted to play Teacup for a long time. It looks super cute, super cozy, and super relaxing, so I'm definitely excited to jump into the game. I hope you guys enjoy, and I will try to have the entire game go up on the channel in one video, so if you're watching this video, it's probably the entire game. Thank you so much, Rochelle. And let's jump in to teacup. I'm so excited. This game looks super cute. Meet teacup, a frog who loves tea. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. That's adorable. <laughs> oh no, there's no more tea. What are we gonna do? That's a big problem. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, okay. A tea party. Oh no, there's no tea and there's a tea party coming up. <laughs> That is a disaster. We need to get some tea. And thus began Teacup's journey for tea. That's so cute. Okay. Movement. Space to interact and shift to sprint. Oh, what a sure walk. I wish I was that confident. I wish I walked as confidently as Teacup. Uh, interact. This day will, oh, this day encyclopedia will be useful. Use this button to open and or close the encyclopedia. See, okay, gotta remember. While it's open, you can browse by pressing in the left or right direction. Oh, look, there's something under the book. Hi, teacup. I'm glad to confirm that all of us will be able to make it to the tea party. I almost forgot to write back since we've been busy with Evangeline practicing every day for our performance at the Kite Festival. We're pretty nervous, but I think it's going to be great. The boys were very excited too, but I hope none of them has forgotten it's this Saturday. It's been so long since the last time we all got together. Take care of yourself. See you soon, Adele. That's adorable. Whoops, should have opened this letter earlier. <laughs> it's okay, Teacup. I get that vibe. A present from your grandmother. Oh, lovely. Oh my gosh, this game is just gorgeous. Like, it's so wonderful. <gasps> okay, I think that is all we can do in here for today. Oh, wait. Whoa, this is so gorgeous. I love the art style of this game. So unique and beautiful. Let's open our encyclopedia. So one is the basics. Two is honey. Three is ginger. Four is lemon verbena. Lemon balm. Roy boys. I think that's a Roy boys. I'm not sure that. Chamomile. Mint. Rosehip. Jasmine. Hibiscus. Cookies. Ah, so it's for each tea and what you need now to make it. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, good to know. Very colorful. Those are very colorful mushrooms. We shall be on our way. I'm assuming we're going to the market. Private letters. Why can't I pass this person? Oh, oh, I didn't realize you can walk. There's like a bigger range of walking. Otto, why hello, teacup? Haven't seen you out here for quite a while. May I help, may I help you with something? I see a quest for tea, an adventure. When I was a young lad, I used to go on adventures too. Oh, the memories. Well, today 
is your lucky day, teacup. What a coincidence. I was just about to throw away this map. <laughs> that is a big coincidence. It's a lovely map. It used to be complete, but some spots have faded with time. You'll have to fill the rest yourself. It was a gift, back from when I arrived in this town by mistake. I'll tell you about it some day, some other day. Well, I won't keep you any longer. Looks like you have a busy day ahead of you. This leads to Otto's house. Okay, Otto gave us a map. Very nice. We shall continue on our way to, I suppose, the market. We're in the West Forest. Now we've gone to the market. I sell baskets. Baskets are good for containing stuff. <laughs> they are indeed. How exciting. The anniversary celebration will soon start. Fresh potatoes. Hello, little frog. Teacup. Well, hello, teacup. I don't have any of those teas you speak about, but I do have the best veggies in town. Wren, that good-for-nothing Badger's veggies have nothing on mine. <laughs> Whoa, we got some veggie competition. That's fruit. It's sweet. I warn you, might become addicted. <laughs> Whoa, what kind of fruit? These fruit look like delicious. Now I just want some fruit. Maybe these jams would taste good with to toast and tea. Probably. They seem harmless enough. Looks like mushrooms. Hello. Buy some mushrooms. I'm 100% positive they're not poisonous. <laughs> or were those, let's say, between 80 and 100%. 95% sure they're not. Maybe 90%. <laughs> Y'all, we're not buying. We're not buying mushrooms from them. <laughs> There's a lot of people from neighboring towns. Ooh. Ren is hard at work. <gasps> this is Ren. I should have brought some water. Teacup, is that you? Unbelievable, darling. I thought I was seeing a mirage. Come again. D, D, D. Always about D. I know, dear, but you need fruits and veggies, too. What can I help you with? You ran out of tea. Impossible. Oh, that's one lovely book. You want me to look at it? <laughs> I love teacup right now. This unsure, you know, kind of vibe. I feel that. I don't know these herbs except this one, mint. I can tell you where to find it, but first I need a little help. It's just so hot outside today. I can't even move, but I need to organize my stand. Would you do that for poor old me, dear? I'll get some water in the meantime. I'm just parched. Okay. Help Ren order her stall. Drag the pieces inside the stall and fit them all. Select pieces and rotate them. Okay. We shall do this. We shall organize it perfectly with no issue at all. Okay. We already made a mistake, but that's fine. Actually, no, we did. We did actually make a mistake. We actually did. <laughs> there we go. Like this. Maybe this one goes here. Maybe this doesn't go there. Maybe we remove these for a second. Do that one. And then let's actually remove everything. Okay. Okay. Maybe this one can rotate and do this now. Oh, perfect. But nothing's a straight line that way. Interesting. Everything is quite long. It shall take me an action. 
actual probably few minutes. Let's do this. Whoops. 
for that. Um, I'll have to try it someday. We have gotten some mint, some mint, perfect. Mint is an aromatic herb, perfect for hot or cold drinks. It can be accompanied with lemon, honey, or lemon balm. Mint tea helps with stomach bloating, body aches, and is antimetic, reduces the chance of vomiting. I did not actually know all those things about mint. Some of them, but not all of them. It's especially recommended for colds or congestion in the throat and nose. Oh, look at this. This herb is also great for reducing tension or anxiety in the body because it has a relaxing effect. I need to have some more mint in my diet, that's for sure. Wait, is that a map? I see. And quite an old one. Mind if I take a peek? Cartography is one of my multiple talents, you know. Multiple talents. Write that down. Multiple. <laughs> Let's see. Bah, it's so faded that it is barely of any use at all. Allow me to fill in some of the missing paths. There we go. Now, you should have no problems exploring the rest of the little pond. It was nice meeting you, little froggy. Okay, we can now go to new places, like the place we couldn't go at the pond. Oh, wow, okay. East Forest Villa. We can go to some new places. Well, we'll go to the pond. Actually, I'm sh sure the pond. Okay, no, we can't go here. <gasps> Whoa. What's up here? I'm looking for sandcastle builders. Do you have a CV? I'm not sure what that is. I'm sure we'll figure it out, though. If you're here about the trees with sweaters, we're investigating it. Trees with sweaters. Okay. I saw your race with Salamandro. I've been here all day. Sunbathing is the best sport, you know, because of the vitamin. Whoa. I can't speak to that person. Oh, we can go inside of here. Interesting. <gasps> Hello. Hmm. I'm sorry. I'm kind busy right now. Okay, maybe we're not to be here quite yet, but I'm not actually quite sure where I'm to go, honestly. I feel as though I should probably be able to talk to this person here, who's like having a hard time in the water. Oh, here's where I found the gold coin the other day. Huh? Doesn't seem like there's anything else. Wait, how long have you been there? You didn't hear anything from me. Gold coin? What gold coin? I simply have none of those. What a nice boat. Who does it belong to? Well, it seems we are here maybe a bit early. I'm not sure where else we are to go. Maybe one of the new places added to the map, like the East Forest. Wow. Oh. I was in the way of the tree. Okay, maybe we are in the bad area. The path continues into the forest, but those scary looking fellas are in the way. We are simply gonna run <laughs> away. <laughs> Because they are scary looking fellas. Let's... Oh, is this the villa? No way. No, it's the East Forest. Let's go to the villa. Sorry, this road is closed for the time being. For now, there's no way through this trunk. We're working as fast as we can to restore access to the other houses. Please come back later. I'm wondering if we are to go back... Yeah, we are for sure not to be here. Let's go back to the market. Maybe we are to go back there. Okay, we are back at the market. I wonder if there's anyone else that knows.
knows about D's here. Have you talked to your granny? I'm sure she'd be delighted to hear from you. I do not know where my granny lives, but I bet my granny is D. We should probably be able to continue this way now. We can. Lovely. Wow, lots of activity here today. Oh, look, it's the mayor again. I hadn't thought about it, but a lighthouse seems like an excellent way to attract tourists. Interesting. Nostalgia blue. That flavor has me recalling things I've never li even lived. <laughs> Whoa, nostalgia blue. Went kite flying, sorry for the inconvenience. All these names are weird. What do they taste like? Okay, we got Willy Wonka out here. Closed for the celebrations. Can't talk right now. I'm busy thinking. Okay. Should I go fly a kite? I'm not sure I'm ready for such an adrenaline rush. That would be quite exciting. Oh, we can go in here. What is this place? Okay, this place definitely doesn't have fancy designs. This place doesn't have tea. Unless there's a quest we can do for tea. Um, sorry, I can't help you right now. I'm having some trouble. Don't you see? The carpets come alive. They have come alive. I knew there had to be some kind of trick. These last ones were really cheap. You're looking for tea? Yeah, I have some jasmine, but right now isn't the best time. I know the magicians. I need your help, frog. I'll give you jasmine, but first you need to get the magicians and ask them for something to put these rugs down. You can find them in a tent in the meadows. I'd go by myself, but then the carpets would escape. I'm counting on you. Okay. We have some Aladdin vibes happening in here. Looks like the theater company will be performing soon. My family always say I should have been an actor. Why is that? That's beyond my comprehension. <laughs> Teacup, you're out. Are you okay? Oh, that's good. What brings you to the plaza? I bet it's because of the festival. Yeah, it's the town anniversary. You didn't know. <laughs> Teacup is me. I'd be like, Sorry, what's happening in my area? I'm just like, in my house, I don't know what you're talking about. Oof, with all these preparations, I almost forgot about the tea party. That explains why you're out and about. I'll be there tomorrow for sure. So this is what you're looking for. Sorry, D, I don't really know where to get any of the tea herbs you need. Maybe Vincent could help you. He likes to drink tea every once in a while. If you walk a bit further, you should find him working at the post office. And if you're going to the post, if you don't mind, could you please mail my monthly manga order for me? Awesome. Thanks, D. See you around town. Take care. Okay. A few tea quests we've picked up. You're kindly invited to the theater play we'll be presenting this afternoon at this very spot. Okay. I'm kindly invited. I wonder where my old card is right now. I could buy some sweets later. This baker seems kind of mad. Hey, what do you want? Cookies, huh? The only problem is that I'm out. I'm about to go for lunch. You're friends with London. He mentioned something about a picnic in the pond before leaving for his break. Cookies are his specialty, so you should better go ask him. He did have some errands to run, though, so he might still be doing that. No cookies for now. What do you want? Okay, whoa, some of y'all are kind of upset. Adora told me it was a lucky day for me, but I just tripped. I'm probably getting unluckier and <laughs> getting luckier now. D, ridiculous. I worry about real-life problems, like blah, 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 blah. He was talking about finance. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. If you like finance, that's fine. It's just not for me. Name, Farrell, Farrell, Farrell. Address, I forgot. I hope it's all right. What a mess. 
has hundreds of letters. I need to mail this manga order. Ren Badger. Address North Little Pond. House 4. More letters still. Name Auto Owl. Address West Forest Treehouse. Welcome to the post office. How may I help you? I see Mr. Bertle's monthly manga order. I'll add it to my to-do list. Yes, the office is a mess. Don't judge me. The mayor absolutely insisted on making this limited edition stamp collection. I've spent the whole week working on it, and I've bar I will barely finish on time. He wanted some memorabilia to immortalize this year's edition of the Downs anniversary. Ah, uh, you notice the honey aroma in the air. It's my tea. Can't tell you where I got it. It's a secret, you see. You know what? Let me show you the stamps. Let's see if you can organize them and form the image. If you can do that, I'll tell you where to get the honey. Vincent will tell you his secret if you solve his stamp puzzles. Select two stamps to swap their positions. Place the stamps in the correct positions to complete the picture. You need to recognize them to form the picture. It's pretty hard. Is it? Is it as hard as you think it is? Oh. Um. Is it hard? <laughs> it was easy. How about you try forming the picture by only swapping adjacent stamps? Okay, come on, bro. I did it. Whoa, that's a bit harder. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Wow, if you manage this last one, I'll tell you the secret behind how I got this honey. Whoa, this one's harder. It's the mare. Okay. We've only seen the mare a few, whoops, a few times. There's a border. I just realized we should probably just put the border in order. Does that make sense? Put the, put the border in order. I'm gonna assume this needs to go over here. Must have met Vincent. 
He's a nice fellow, a bit talkative for my taste, but nice all the same. <laughs> Honey, why, of course, I just gathered some this morning. Here you are. I'm sure your tea party will be a huge success. Honey, this food is antioxidant, antibacterial. Oh, I did not know honey was an antibacterial. Useful for skin care in the treatment of acne and antiseptic protecting wounds from possible infections. I didn't know it was antiseptic or an antibacterial. Very interesting. It protects wounds from possible infections. In the absence of sugar, you can accompany all your teas with honey because it also works as a sweetener. It is also used to relieve throat discomfort and cough. Interesting. I'm learning new things all the time. The secret to keeping bees is to talk to them. I compliment them now and then, but they seem to be really into Ren's gossip. <laughs> is that another map? Okay. We shall continue on our journey. Uh, the next place we should go is probably the... So there's the market, the plaza, the villa, and the forest... Let's try the East Forest. You think these dudes move? Probably not. These shady people. Yeah, no, no, no. They didn't move. Let's go ahead to the... Where the homes are. You know what? Let's just actually re-talk to the people we... <laughs> Let me just run back and talk to the people who had the information for us. Yeah, I don't remember where this guy said to go. They had to wake up the day of the anniversary a bunch of offers today. Oh, but I don't remember where I'm supposed to go. That's unfortunate. They don't repeat where you need to go. And I don't think there's any way to see where we need to go. There is simply no way to see. Okay. Well, my memory's pretty bad, so we'll walk around till we find something. was the meadow because there was a circus tent. It's right past the house here. I do remember that. We never passed Salamandro's house. Ah, uh, it's probably in here. It seems as if there's no one inside, but Ben Grady told you to look for the magicians here. You call out and hear a voice beckoning you to enter. Oh, look. Look over, frog. Correction, Vitano. Like you, salutations, little amphibian. Interested in the mysteries of existence, the other world, that which is beyond the reach of Deanins. Deanins. That's science, <laughs> Vitano. Yeah, yeah, she understood. She said yes. Welcome, then. We have a mission for you. What mission? Oh. Right, the mission, a magnificent mission. You must find the cauldron of life. It looks like a tea post, but it's not. It also works like a teapot, but it's not. <laughs> That's right. The cauldron lies in the darkest nooks and crannies of our tent. Tent, <laughs> they said vent. Slander, look up. Remember, the shopkeeper was clearly saying vent. That was his accent, and nobody in that garage sale spoke our language. Oh, right. 
Are you cunning enough for this task, little amphibian? Well, if you're willing to find the cauldron, here's a list of some other stuff I need and can't find. Vitana. <laughs> what? She already said yes. Go. We'll be waiting here. Ah, uh, they need objects for the show. Uh, they asked for your assistance to find all the objects they can't find in the mess of their tent. Find all the item items displayed. Okay. Let's take a quick look. Boom. We got one. We're looking for a boat right there. We're looking for a candle thing. Right there. We're looking for a clock. We're looking for a clock, which is probably hidden in a good spot. Probably behind things, I'm going to assume. I can't see the clock right away, so we might skip the glasses. There's also an umbrella, which is there. There's also... Yeah, because when things disappear, you can see more things. Makes sense. We're also looking for an envelope, which is this. And a key. We're, oh, right here. Little peach thing. Necklace right here. We're looking for a key, but I found a bunch of other things <laughs> in the meantime. Teapot right there. I have a feeling the clock is right there. Perfect. Glasses. 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 They could be in a lot of different places currently. So we shall continue to look. It said I didn't find the letter, or I think it did actually. We're looking for glasses in the key. Which are probably some of those glasses are up here. And the key is. Do, do, do. I'm gonna keep looking with my apples. The key is probably our smallest. Well, actually, no, this object was pretty small. Do, 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 do. The key should be... Well, there's a lock, so the key could be close, could it not? I have a feeling I'm looking in the complete wrong direction for this key. a design on the pillow, but it turns out it was the key. You picked up the cauldron of life to take it to La Gofu and Fidano. A strange smell emanates from the teapot. Oh my gosh, you feel dizzy. Whoa, what? What is this place? They put some weird stuff in there. At nightfall, dreams will come, soft as cotton, blurred like smoke. Interesting. A lot of items here. It is time to sleep. This place is cute. Little pond should have a tram. Look, Lagovu, or Lagovu, the frog is here. Unbelievable. Looks like you found the cauldron, little froggy. And it looks like you didn't wash the tea stains again, V. Eteno. How many times have I told you? Slander, love, <laughs> falsehood couldn't be farther from the truth, you sleazy lizard. But well, welcome to the dream world. Sorry for the trouble. You must be confused. It wasn't that much trouble. We know about your search, little traveler. Please accept our most sincere apologies. Yes, very sincere. This magic powder might be of use to those pesky flying for those pesky flying carpets. Yes, and take this magic tea. It's what we make in the cauldron. Vitano, you do know that if you give her that, she'll be able to enter the 
dream world as she pleases. Leave me alone, Nagovu. I like this froggy. Take it. Oh, you have a book. Let me show you my amazing drawing skills. <laughs> wow. Specialty. You see on the other side. Or see you on the other side. Man, we, they just gave us an hallucinogen tea. <laughs> and we're back. Thank you for your help. Your magnificent contributions have brought balance to the universe. Ah, I can hear it resonate beautifully. Vitano, how many times have we talked about lying about the universe? Lying? I may be many things, little frog. A frog, a wizard, a sorcerer, a frog, but not a liar. Trust me when I say that your future resonates brightly. Well, it seems like a nice town. We should set up our summer tent here. Grandi... Grandiacious, I think. I'll connect this tent to the others. See you around. Good luck stopping those flying rocks. Interesting. <laughs> can we leave from here? I don't think we can. We must go back. Well, now we can get D from them. I think there was another way to get D. I frankly can't remember it all that well. Let's go back to the plaza. We must run as fast as we can. I wonder if our friend is back. Oh, that was the other thing. Was our friend was going to give us cookies for our tea party. But they were on break. Maybe they're back. We'll have to check. Alright, give me your days. Wonderful, you talked to the magicians. A magic power, I see. Now we just need to spread it on all the carpets. Please help me with that, and the jasmine is yours. Stop the flying carpets inside Ben Karate's store. Aim the cursor at the carpets and throw magic powder until they fall. Ah, we have to do it multiple times. Makes sense. I think that's maybe one more. Oh, two more. Whoa, way more than I thought. I think that's all of them. My little frog hand was so cute. Beautiful. Now I can continue working in peace. Thank you very much. I think I forgot to ask for your name. Teacup, it was lovely to meet you. Here's your jasmine. Come whenever you want if you need some more. Nice. Jasmine is a, a climbing plant that grows in temperature climates. This tea is not considered herbal, but rather as aroma aromatic. There are different jasmine teas according to the tea you use as a base. Green tea, white tea, black tea, or oolong tea. To prepare it, the tea leaves are harvested in early summer and stored until the jasmine flowers bloom. When this happens, the tea leaves are flavored with jasmine, with the jasmine flowers. Since you're running around town, can I ask you a small favor? If you run into the raccoon brothers, can you tell them the new shipment of wool just came in? They look intimidating, but they're the sweetest guys I know. Oh, now we can get past those, those people. Last thing I heard, they were in the forest. Thanks. Okay. We are on our way. We need to get the cookies. Maybe they'll be last. We're collecting all our teas, after all. Actually, the person, maybe we can't go in here. Tar said to go find land by the pond. Oh, we need to go to the pond. That is true. We were told to go to the pond. Okay. I wonder if that's who we saw before. We'll go to the pond, then we'll go to the... We'll go to the, the other, ah, this person.
person's new. Hi, Teacup. How are you? Are you ready for t tomorrow? I'm really excited. Wow, you need some cookies. No, not a problem. I can give you some leftovers from the morning f for tomorrow, but if you only should join us on our break, but only if you do join us on our break, we're going to have a picnic on the lake with Big Bertle. I brought some snacks. Uh oh, there he comes. Let's go. Wait, our friend's a kid works as a chef at that place. Whoa, living up. Thanks for helping. For your help rowing tea. The water is so calm here. You can sometimes see creatures under the water. Like the mysterious beast of Little Bond. D -d don't say that. You know I don't like horror stories. Mm. Teacup, d -d tell him to stop. T likes horror stories too. With its sticky body, it attacks poor little porcupines. Grar, grar. Okay, y'all, come on. That's a little mean. We're on the water. Ah, jeez, Bertle. Maybe you could draw it, D, and we could, we can flesh out the story like we used to do at school. Do you remember our p paper puppet shows? Those were epic. T used to make the best voices. Everyone thought we'd hire a professional. I still have an album with our paper cuttings. Good old times. It's starting to get hot here lately. Where we used to sail in goats and wool hats. <laughs> if we're here often. Yeah, T, sometimes Evangeline and Abel, Adele come too, but they had band practice today. I feel like I can relax here. Lyndon also stutters a lot less. You're always welcome to, T, you know. You should, should, should come around more often. Sometimes we read our mangas out loud and act them out. But our voice acting is nowhere as good as yours. It's awesome that you came out right on the Downs anniversary. Little Bond is a nice place. People are a bit silly, but hey, so are we. Yeah, it's great that you're here. It's a big step. There will always be a spot here for a frog like you. Anyways, Lennon gave me a plant the other day. He called it Meliflu. I think that's how you say that. I don't know what you expect, Lyndon. I'm too busy to keep a plant alive. I think he's the one who wanted it. After all, he's the one actually caring for it. Why? Good question, T. Lyndon, what's with that name? Um, I, I just thought it sounded nice. Well, I'm hungry. Can you pass me the snacks, Brutal? Of course I can. Let me take them out. Ah, a bee. Oh, 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 Brutal. You could cut the longest arms between us three. Tika, would you mind pulling the picnic out of the water? Oh no, Brutal dropped the picnic basket to the lagoon. Move your hand over an object and hold the interaction button to pick it up. Drag all the objects upward to put them away on the boat. Oh. Okay, some of this stuff's like out of my little arm's reach. There we go. Sorry, I dropped our snacks. Don't worry about it, but bird. Oh, I think we can try off most of the these these things. I think it's time to get back, Mister Felico. Or Felicio must be looking for me. Dar must be opening the bakery too. Yeah, you're right. We're going to run out ahead, teacup. But you know where to find us. Come by the bakery later, and I'll give you some cookies. Nice, we got the cookies. That's nice. I feel like Tika needs to get out of her shell and just kind of, you know, visit people and like, you know, get out of the house. I, I'm gonna, not gonna lie, I love being in my house, but I do leave my house way more than I ever have in my whole life. Um, which, it does take a bit of a toll on me, but it is a good thing to do. Hey there, Tadpole. Have you come to join our knitting workshop? Knitted sweater 
flowers don't appear out of thin air, you know. And this town's a fairly lax knitted sweaters. <laughs> oh, Pankrati sent you a new shipment of wool arrived. That's rad. Thanks for telling us. If you're looking for the town anniversary festival, it's right ahead on this path. Oh, you're looking for tea? The field's ahead of, ahead of a lot of vegetation, so you should keep your eyes open. Be careful, though. We heard something about some dangerous-looking dudes wandering the forest. <laughs> people were talking about them. <laughs> poor, poor people. Even, even I got scared of them. You know, even I did. Yo, what's that over there? This plant looks familiar. Wait. It's lemon fir banana. You could pluck a few leaves. Nice. Okay, we're really working it. Lemon verbena, also known as lemon bee bush or fragrant verbena, is a plant for ornamental use that can also be made into an infusion. To prepare it, place the lemon verbena leaves in the water and boil for 15 minutes. Or, in case the leaves are dry, prepare one tablespoon for one liter of freshly boiled water. Then let it rest. Interesting. I did not know of that either. Wow, these are the grounds. This event wouldn't be possible without me and the townspeople's hard work. <laughs> okay. Want some elderflower drink? It's ice from the town. You like it? I can give you the recipe. It's one of my faves. Maybe it's because you don't really say anything, but it's easy to talking to you. Have you tried my taco recipe? They're the best. Saute dice rolls, or saute dice potatoes with a pinch of garlic, coriander, tomato, avocado, fried onion. Mm, I'm gonna get myself one. That sounds actually very good. That sounds very, very good. Can I talk to them? I thought it was, oh, it's Evangeline. I thought it was going to be hot outside today, but Adora was right. It's really nice here. Tika. We were talking about how nice the weather today turned out to be. Come sit with us. I'm curious. What brings you here on such a busy day? Oh, you're looking for tea. <laughs> Classic teacup. Well, how many herbs have you got already? Wow, you're almost done. Maybe next time we can join you on your quest. Wish you'd come by a little bit earlier. You could have heard us play the, with the band. If you're up to it, you can come see us on Saturday. Yeah, that'd be great. Have you talked to your grandma? How is she? Linton keeps asking about her famous peanut butter cookie cookies recipe, but she keeps it a secret. Are you hungry? Now that you're here, you could get yourself some tacos. There's also a stand with ice brought from the city. I can get you some if you're too embarrassed to ask. Or you can stay here and enjoy the afternoon. I'm sorry, these friends are real ones. First of all, they're even, like, they'll even order if she's kind of anxious about going to order. They're real ones. They just want to vibe with you. You want to keep on going? Don't worry. Good luck and see you tomorrow. <laughs> Teacup's like, actually, y'all, I got things to do. <laughs> it's a nice day to get some sunlight. The sound of the breeze is the best. Oh. Look, Mom, that guy looks like a big balloon. Yes, dear. Wait, that actually does look like a big, like a balloon guard. <gasps> didn't that person, didn't the person with the balloon cart in town say they didn't know where their cart was? Did their balloon cart literally fly away like it's up or something? The wind is not so strong, but my carpet has taken off twice. <laughs> I bet it's going to come to life and fly away into the distance. Oh no, I'm just joking. What's with that serious look? <laughs> A frog? No, I'm a toad. <laughs> Walking up and asking if people are frogs. Look, look, I can already count to ten. Ten, two, eight, seven, five, four. He's learning how to count. Sadly, he changes the order each time. Can I go over here? 
I simply cannot speak to this person. I wonder where our grandma is. Oh, there's a person here. Welcome to my humble cafeteria. Would you like a cup of tea or coffee? Tea? Wonderful. Here you go. Ah, uh, from your face, I'm guessing you didn't like it very much. The truth is, I really love these beverages, but I can't get them right despite my efforts. Oh, you say you know a lot about tea, and you'd actually teach me. Marvelous. I'll listen carefully to your teachings. I see. Oh, that's how you do it. Uh, I understand. Um, that makes sense. Amazing. I've been doing it wrong all along, but I'm ready to reinvent myself starting now. I don't think I can practice these new techniques and serve customers at the same time, though. Will you help me? I'll make sure it's worth your time. Thank you so much. I'll prepare the orders while you wait the customers. We're going to get some good tea leaves from this place. Kerman needs you to help get his business moving. Request and retrieve coffee from Kerman at the cart. Deliver the coffee to incoming customers. Oh, this is so cute. The whole style changed. This is adorable. Do I just... Okay, ask for it, and then I give it. So cute. We need more coffee and tea. There we go. I was wondering why no one was over here. Probably because the tea ain't banging. <laughs> the coffee and tea are not that good. That's why no one was over here at first. Look, I'm, I'm pre-making this tea. You sit, you get tea immediately. You're immediately going to get served tea. See that? Immediately. See? Boom. Tea. You want tea? I know you want tea. Okay, it's getting kind of busy, actually. Getting a little nervous about this. We're getting a lot of tea, actually. A lot of people uh, getting a little nervous, actually. Getting a little nervous at how much tea I gotta be serving right now. Anyone else getting a little nervous about the amount of tea? <laughs> I think word of mouth got out. I'm so good at serving tea. <laughs> at least they waited patiently. They didn't yell at me. <laughs> that was nice. Yay, we served all the tea. Awesome. That was incredible. Thank you so much. I never had so many customers. You're organizing a tea party. Say no more. I will aid you. These kinds of meetings are the foundation of life itself, especially when accomplished by the right drinks, mm -hmm. or accompanied by the right drinks, I think. Thank you for your help. I'm giving you black tea, green tea, and sugar. You never know if one of your friends may have a ferocious sweet tooth. Also, take this white tea. It doesn't sell much, but I'm sure you'll appreciate it. Nice. Black tea is obtained from the infusion of dried leaves from the Camilla... Camellia... 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 I think it's Camellia... Sinesis bush. <laughs> it's one of the teas with the strongest flavor and color mainly due to the fact that its oxidation processes process lasts longer. For the same reason, its flavor remains much more than a year after it is produced. It is high in theine, which is a type of caffeine that has antioxidant properties. I forgot to read the green tea sign. Come and get some more whenever you need. Okay, we have found quite a lot of teas. I must, I must say. We've simply cracked the tea code. So how many do we have left? We've got a lot of these, actually. White tea. Okay, ginger we're missing. Lemon balm we're missing.
missing. Okay, we're missing a few of them still, actually. We're missing cookies. We know where to get those. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're missing six. We shall find these six. We already know where to get cookies. We also need to visit our grandma. Can we talk to this person? I feel like we... Oh, there's tea right here. I just saw it. Look, this one appears in the book. Yes, it's chamomile. Let's take a few flowers. Chamomile is a perennial herb. To prepare the tea, cut the heads of the flowers and let them rest for five minutes in boiled water. You can include honey or mint to enhance its flavor. Chamomile has relaxing properties, making it a useful tool against insomnia. It also calms stomach pains. It grows in the extensive fields near the eastern forest. Nice. I'm glad we have finally found this. We now have five left, including... Was that including cookies? Can't remember if we included cookies. Okay. We are on our way. Oh, maybe... There we go. I had to be further where the path was. Nice. Okay. I wonder if we can go to our grandma's house. Maybe we'll check the plaza for the cookies. Our friend had cookies. The forest, yes. Here you are. I already wrapped up the cook cookies. These could go great with tea. Take them. L looking forward to tomorrow. We have uh, cookies. Perfect. This is a legitimate recipe. Y'all tell me if this is good. I might make these. Okay, wait. This is an actual cookie recipe. Tell me if it's good. Tell me if it's good. I truly need to eat some of these cookies. Okay, where can we go now? The only place we haven't gone that I can remember. The field. Is the villa. I mean, I really... I'm not sure where else we could... Yeah, it's still... Blocked off, apparently. Let's see. Maybe this is our grandma's house or something. We can just walk in. Okay, it's not our grandma's house, but we can just walk in here. Good morning. Oh, you're Otto's neighbor. It's a pleasure. A friend of my teacher is a friend of mine. D, that's wonderful. I prefer Moroccan coffee, but on my trips, some tribes have offered me tea. There's one in particular that I've been looking for, but it's very hard to find. Its special quality was that it transported you to a world of dreams. Oh, we have that. Sorry, sometimes I start to ramble. What do you need? Now that I think about it, I've never seen you around here before. It's nice to see her outside. Oh, I see. I have some. Oh, Roy boys. It's only enough for one cup, though. If I'm not mistaken, Mr. Rickard gave it to me when I decided to sponsor him. His family lives by the port and by the port, by the port, and they're always sending him some. You can find him by the pond in the lighthouse. Be nice to him. He's kind of aloof. Let's go. I know I'm skipping those things. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, let's see if my grandma or someone lives down here. We gotta go to the pond. Is grandma... Hey, that's, this is a grandma. Hi, Rose. Is that you? Oh, sorry. Hello. I thought you were my piano student. Wait. You're a teacup. You're Thea's granddaughter. What a surprise. I wonder if our grandma lives on the other side of that tree branch. I see... You look a lot like her. She also enjoys drinking tea. I like it too, although I only drink hibiscus tea. It's nice and fresh. Oh, you want some for your tea party? Of course, I can give you some flowers for you to enjoy. 
Yes, we got hibiscus. Hibiscus tea, also known as aqua, is obtained from the spells or sepals of hibiscus flowering plant. It contains antioxidants, is antibacterial, and is located and is loaded with flavor. It is perfect to drink hot or cold. Okay. Fire. Ah, the piano. Yes, I love to play. I can't see much anymore, but I know just fine where each key is. You can come by any time to hear me play. Sometimes I play with that friend of yours, Adele. It'd be an honor. I'm too tired for that today, sadly. We'll see each other soon. Uh-oh, what a beautiful day. Yo, we need to leave our house. Our whole area is so cute. Like, everyone is so nice and cute. Alright, let's head to the pond. We are collecting these. We have quite a few, actually. I think we only have a few more. I think we're almost done. Let's go to the pond. Uh, the lighthouse. Where we went way too early. Much closer to the end of the game we needed to come here. I don't know what the mayor's doing here, though. <laughs> the mayor just shows up in these random, random areas. Alright. Hello. Oh, um, you're not here to make fun of me, are you? What? Olympia sent you. I wouldn't make fun of you. What am I doing? Well, building a lighthouse. My name is Record Orin. I'm the main architect and engineer here at the lighthouse. A pleasure. People say it's dumb for a pond to have a lighthouse, right? People say it's dumb for a pond to have a lighthouse, but it's my project. And the only opinions that matter here are the architects and the engineers. Facts. Also, well, also my patrons, Olympia. It's a crazy dream, but it's my dream. I work on it every day. I won't stop for just a couple of ignoramuses, excuse my language, who don't have dreams of their own. Sadly, I haven't been able to finish it because I can't place these gears correctly for the life of me. Really, y'all, if a manga, if a frog who reads manga and is just so chill and maybe, you know, got some anxiety, can come in here and do the job better than the engineer, like, that's funny. <laughs> And it's just funny. If this works, I'll put your name on the commemorative plaque. Yo, let's get our name on that plaque. Record requires your help to fix the lighthouse. Drake and place the gears on the right road. Gears with the same teeth must be in contact, but they cannot overlap. Okay. The idea is to plug in all these gears in the rod. Gears with the same kind of teeth have to be in contact so they can turn each other. Thus, they can't overlap with each other. Gears with different teeth can overlap slightly, but you can't cover the center of the gear as it wouldn't be able to turn. It's pretty confusing, but I'll be here to show you whatever you're placing a gear. To show you whenever you're placing a gear incorrectly. Also, I never mentioned the leaf cursor. It's cool. It's so cute. Okay. So, if it has to match those, then it's gotta match these gears, right? Okay. Whoops. because this take was taking me a really long time. Wow, it's working. Thank you so much. Consider yourself invited to the opening ceremony. There is still much to do before the lighthouse is up and running, but you took a huge weight off my shoulders. Oh, you need some tea? Yes, of course I have some. Ta-da, it's Ripios. Or Roy Boys, Boys, Roy Boys. 
is a red shrub of which the infusion is prepared from the leaves. Its infusion is recognized for having a slight dose to nutty flavor and strong red tint, but above all, for being caffeine-free. Among its many properties, it's, it is anti-inflammatory, an antioxidant, and possesses relaxing characteristics. It is ideal to prepare with vanilla or milk. You can come get some whenever you want. I'll be right here. See, we're also having teacup. Kind of learn that everyone's got some tea. You just gotta know who to go get it from. So now you can like, you know, go out, meet people, get some tea. And it's not as scary. You know, some things might be a bit nerve-wracking, but it's not as scary as you thought it would be. Was there anyone else to talk to in town? can't remember. Oh, the play started. There's so many people from other towns. Crazy, isn't it? Oh, the play has started. I urgently need your help. Look, one of our members still isn't here, but the show must go on. I'm going to be in the play. We need your help, and I can tell you have the skills. Please help us. You will. Thank you so very much. Here's the story. The costumes are in the back. Show them the script and they'll know what to do. You're going to be the protagonist. Okay, well. <laughs> I haven't uh, acted in a while. Really gotta, you know, pull it up. <laughs> Zero trust is, trusted you with the lead role of the play. Watch carefully the sequence of directions displayed for each scene. Wait for the sequence to disappear and then perform each move in a sequence by memory. Y'all, I got brain damage. There's no way I'm remembering that. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, to this humble gesture, for I will tell you about the biggest adventure I've heard in my voyages. That us, there was not so long ago a young Arl Arlequin from the moon that one fateful evening slipped and stumbled onto the earth. His only dream was to get back and spend his days amongst the bright light of the stars as before, but the moon now looked so small and out of reach. And down. I think that was correct. Alright. I'm gonna have a hard time. To find a way back home, he spent countless hours in the library and researched arduously. But alas, he found nothing that could be of help. He became sadder and sadder as time went by. The librarian, seeing him every afternoon in such low spirits, approached him to inquire about the matter, and upon hearing his call to the Harlequin surprise, Harlequin surprise, he said, Oh, melancholic Harlequin, there is a way. You must head to where the sun meets the horizon and ask for the stars for their help. If they hear your plea, they will drop a staircase that leads to the moon. Downside. Downside side. Down. Side. Side. Okay. Okay, okay. We got that one. With this new information, the little dreamer packed his belongings and set out on his journey. Just as he was parting, however, he encountered the librarian, who, anxious to adventure beyond his books, handed him a map and asked to be part of the trip. The Harlequin joyfully accepted his company. Up, up, down. Left. All right. Up. Left. Okay. We're doing it. We're performing. We're performing this performance right now. Even though the librarian was very knowledgeable, they soon realized that neither of them knew how to use a map and got lost. It was then that they spotted a bird swiftly flying across the sky. The bird noticed the lost travelers and stopped to help them. Upon hearing their dis destination, 
He smiled and said, I have been to where the staircase falls, offering to guide them. Right, right, down, right. Okay, if I don't say it out loud, I will not remember. The trip was long, and their voices grew tired, and their feet sore. When their spirits were at their lowest, they encountered a crocodile. With her little drum, she created the most beautiful sounds the group had heard. Seeing the lack of music on their trip, she decided to join them. The stars don't speak much, so I'll lend my music up until the staircase. With her melodies, she restored the traveler's energy. Up, right, up, left, right, right, left. Up, left, right, right, left. Okay. They're getting longer, they're getting in order to remember. And thus the travelers continued their journey. They marched onwards to the rhythm of the crocodile's music. Thanks to the librarian, they talked about all kinds of interesting topics. They learned about different places and cultures through the trips of the bird. Their campfires were never boring, with all the tricks that the harlequin had up his sleeve. As it often happens when you have a good time, the days went by quickly, and suddenly they found themselves where the sun meets the horizon. Left, right, left, right, 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 left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right. Okay, that one I was unsure about. I was actually really unsure about that one. The Harlequin, Harlequin set, called out to the stars for help, and just as the librarian said, a long, bright staircase stretched down from the sky. The librarian hugged the Harlequin and said, You are almost where you want to be, dear friend. It is time to say goodbye. Faced with these words, the little Harlequin took one last look of his friends, but was overcome with a bitter sadness. As tears began to spill from his eyes, he realized he had not felt such misery since before he started his journey. Upon realizing this, he let go of the ladder and exclaimed, Now that I am here, and you are here with me, I cannot imagine a life without your company. Down, right, up, oh my gosh, down, right, up, left, right, down, down, right, left, oh. Oh no, I'm so nervous. Okay. Up, left, up, right, left, down, up, right, up, left, up, right, down. It was supposed to be left. I can't remember it. <laughs> okay, I took a picture. So I can see. Yeah, I was never going to remember that sequence. Just because it's so long and I can't retain that much information that quickly. That night, they didn't light up a fire and instead decided to share a picnic under the moon. As they had already found the brightest treasure on their way to the staircase. Are you serious? so difficult for me. I can't. There's no way to skip it either or make it easier. Alright, I've taken another picture of it because I can't remember. Okay, hopefully that's it because I cannot remember. There we go. <laughs> the last two I couldn't remember. Your performance was amazing. 
The spectators burst into tears. I'm impressed. You may want to come with us and perform in other towns. Oh, I see. You haven't heard the calling of the theater. Well, fair enough. One great adventure is better than nothing. Best of luck with what remains of our of your journey. Nice. Oh, this is the construction person. Well, this thing wasn't action-packed after all. I'm going to go cut up some more wood. <laughs> Yo, hopefully that means... I think that's the only place we haven't gone yet is probably where our grandma is, I'm assuming. Because we've gone pretty much everywhere else and interacted with everyone else so far on the map. So it's really the villa and then to grandma's house. Oh, good. It is unlocked. Nice. That was cute. I liked the... You see a river with a free gondola in the distance. You could ride this to Grandma's house, but it's pretty far away. You probably have to spend the night over there and come back tomorrow. I'm gonna say okay. Wow, Grandma lives pretty far away. So cute, going to see Grandma on our gondola. There's such lovely world building in this game. It's so nice to, it's such a nice game, so cozy and just comfortable and relaxing. It was super cute. Wow, Grandma lives all the way out here. Let's go see Grandma. Grandma's favorite tea set. Ren gave it to her a long time ago. Alright, where's our Grandma? A tea-themed watering can. Yo, Grandma's got the rest of our stuff for sure. I can't believe my eyes. Teacup. Is something the matter? Are you alright, darling? You came on your own accord. Wow, sometimes I forget you're all grown up now. Only yesterday, you were the littlest tadpole, learning how to swim outside the pond, and now you're on land. I'm so proud. I know. I know. I'm just happy, so happy to see you. Take a seat, please. Let me fix you a cup of tea. How have you been? Are you ready for your tea party? Of course I know about it. I asked Ren to look out for you in town. Lyndon also comes to deliver fresh bread every morning. He always stays for a cup of tea. Oh, I know what this is about. You ran out of tea. I was wondering how the last set I gave you had lasted so long. You were in town looking for tea all day. You must be exhausted. You found quite a lot of herbs, I see. So what brings you all the way here? Darling, you know you can always ask me for anything you want. Even though you may be big now, I'm still your grandma. I've got those her herbs you're missing. Yes, we got all the herbs uh, in some jars in the kitchen, but you'll have to tell me about your day first. You've caught me off guard. I don't know how much of us besides D now. I don't have much for us besides D now, but I have some flour left. We can make those peanut butter cookies you like so much while you tell me what you saw in Little Pond. I'll go ahead to the kitchen. That's so cute. The Tea Master's Guide Complete Encyclopedia, Tome 45. It's bigger than our little encyclopedia. Oh, there's a tag on this rug, exclusive, designed by <laughs> Bankrati Madigan. Nice. Nothing better than taking a nap after afternoon tea. Oh, it's Rosa 
but Grandma won't mind if I take a generous helping. Nice. Rosehip are fruits produced by wild rose bushes. They have a large amount of vitamin C and are used to prepare jams and jellies. To prepare this herbal tea, put four to five rosehips in a cup of boiled water. Let it steep for 10 to 15 minutes and then remove the fruits. Its flavor is acidic, making it perfect to accompany with something sweet. before you can reach the jars. Wow, it's been a while since we've been here, I'm supposing. Lemon balm, ginger, and the rose hip you picked up. There you go. You know where to come when you need more. It will only cost you a conversation. It's already late. You should spend the night in your room here and get back home tomorrow. Tell me about that last manga you were reading while I get the ingredients for the cookies. Giant frogs. That's scary. <laughs> That's so cute. The next day, Teacup returned to her house and got everything ready for the tea party. We got everything for the tea party. Today is the day. Okay, we already had it pre-prepared. Cups, cookies, and tea. Everything is ready. Only your friends are missing. I'm gonna go wait outside for them. Might as well read a bit while they arrive. Oh, there they come. Tea time. Oh, we have to do tea time. Oh, dear. This is it. Your friends came to the tea party, and it's time to make tea. Each tea request will be displayed in the top right corner. Eat, select each ingredient and place them inside the cup. When ready, select the teapot to pour water and deliver the tea. Mm. There's so much to choose from. What do you recommend, teacup? Jasmine. Oh, jasmine green tea. Sure. I want that, but no sugar, please. You went to the wizard's den. Do you really have a giant butterfly? Do they really have a giant butterfly? I don't know what jasmine is. Oh, there's pictures. Good. So, green tea. And jasmine. Okay. And pour. I love this. So cute. There we go. Amazing. Aren't you scared? I saw them talking to my uncle the other day. They look chill, or at least the short one. The other one was a bit scary. <laughs> the other day, the tall one, uh, Lakofu. Thanks, Tika. I couldn't remember his name. Lakofu asked if we had a library in town. He said he could lend us his books to start one. Miss Olympia has lots of books, too. Whenever she's home, she's always reading something. You met her. What teas did she give you? Or she told you to ask Rickard. What? You repaired his lighthouse. H how come I go to work every day and th that kind of thing never happens to me? Can I try a cup of rooibos? Cool. Thank yes, two sugars, please. Okay, two sugars. One. I feel like this game is making me want to explore more teas, you know? There's, like, very basic teas that I know of. I want to try, like, fresh, real-made teas, like, fresh. Yesterday was amazing. I always knew you had an actress in your teacup, but seeing you on stage was awesome. You, you didn't see her in the pond. She was great, too. She saved our picnic. We should go to the pond next weekend and enjoy a day at the beach. The mayor said the beach will probably be empty because it's going to be cloudy. Mm. Oh, great. Wait, how does he know that? Mm. I have no idea. He's a mysterious mayor. 
He really is. Did, did you hear about the kite contest winner? It was Johnny Juggles. Oh, teacup, I saw you picking up herbs at the de at the festival. Chamomile, would you make me some of that? Does that go well with mint? Then give me some of that too, and with honey, please. Thank you, teacup. wasn't sweet enough. There you go. Much better. Miss Olympia was fascinated. She said she hadn't seen such a fearless kid in a while. I mean, seeing him fly away gave me quite a fright. <laughs> Teacup, I saw you speaking to Miss Adora yesterday. Miss... She said something about being married to Destiny. She... Did she give you any hints? I'm sorry, Mrs. That was Mrs. My bad, Mrs. Did she give you any hints on where to find the herbs? Oh, that's too bad. Good thing that Miss Mole had hibiscus. Can I try? Am I missing a herb? Oh, I think we missed one. I think we missed one of the, the herbs, or maybe more. I thought we got them all. My bad. I thought I really thought we got them all. I think I missed some. Ooh. Oh, I finished my tea already. Teacup, is there any of that? Is as minty as Adele's, but more lemony. Uh, I can try lemon balm. Is there any ginger? Great. Can you add a little of that and a pinch of sugar, please? Nobody makes tea like you. Okay. Lemon balm. Ginger. And sugar. I like that the ears move when the tea's, like, the water's hot. That's a cool book. Is that where you found the different herbs? Oh, what is that rose hip? Can I try some? Five sugars, please. You're like a tea wizard. Ah, I just remembered the final dialogue in the play. Oh my gosh, five sugars. One, two, three. Oh, three, four, five. My mouse is broken, so like when I drag stuff, it keeps thinking I'm, I stop clicking. When I don't actually stop clicking, it's broken, but it, I don't know, mics are, I don't know if I can get another one. It's wrong, yeah, my mouse is messing me up, it's really annoying. Okay, rose hip, one, two, three, four, five. It's when I do things quickly, even though I'm holding down the mouse, it'll like, um, kind of like think that I'm not clicking anymore and lifting my ma my finger when I'm not. It's very annoying. Very annoying. I even shed some tears. The theater always comes with beautiful plays. I heard Vincent was pretty excited. He wanted to join the company. Wow, I'm so relaxed. I'm yawning. The last year he wanted to join the caravan that was selling salt. Classic Vincent. Come on, Teacup. We know you like to prepare tea, but come sit with us. Oh, what are you preparing for yourself? Mint tea with two sugars. Okay, mint tea with two sugars. Is that mine? I feel like, no offense, that's a basic tea for all the tea knowledge we have. That was some basic tea for the tea knowledge we have. Great, now come sit with us so we can take a picture. I thought we were gonna have, I don't know, something like, you know, maybe a little bit. <laughs> it's okay though, mint tea is good. Yay, tea and cookies. And thus, 
unfinished teacup's adventure for tea. So cute. But who knows, maybe other adventures await teacup and little bond. Or perhaps just a lazy afternoon spent reading. with a cup of her favorite tea. That was an extremely, extremely cute game. I loved it. I loved it. Amazing. I loved it so much. I hope you enjoyed it. It was great. Big clapping, clap, 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 soft clapping to the developers publishers, animators, everyone who worked on this game. 